Hello everyone, my name is Amha Shane. I'm reporting for First Updates Now. With me here today, I have Team 5421 Armed and Dangerous from Maryland, you know, local team for the MTI. They've done very well today and throughout the season, going to a lot of competitions, not only in the Chesapeake area, but also out of state as well. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If you are a college student or recent graduate looking for an incredible internship, take a look at Stryker. Stryker provides a housing stipend, great pay, and an opportunity to work with state-of-the-art medical technology equipment. Discover why so many first alumni are coming to Stryker for their internship or career at careers.stryker.com. Discover MSOE, where hands-on learning today can lead to real-world applications tomorrow, including their We Energy STEM Center, built to support FIRST teams. Head on over to msoe.edu slash visit to see a virtual tour and schedule your campus visit today. Let's get started with your guys' drivetrain and chassis. I think the first thing everybody notices when they look at your robot is a super small footprint. What was the decision behind that? You know, going forward or looking back, would you change it at all or do you completely agree with the decision you made? Uh, I, 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 I think it was great. We started with a 12 by 12 inch robot. Now this is 10 and a half inches by 10 and a half inches. Wow. And uh, it was, it, it, on one hand, it was a CAD challenge, just make it fun for us in, us in our senior season. But also there was a competitive advantage, right, in the various gaps throughout the the field, uh, especially in the shared gap, we can actually do a full 360 in the distance between the shared hub and the barrier. Wow. And so that advantage allows us to be a little bit more creative in our moving paths if we decide to use it. Yeah, awesome. I mean, have you guys had any issues with your drivetrain or has it just been pretty reliable throughout the entire season? Uh, so far it's been pretty good. Um, there were some challenges. We, we machined these in-house. So uh, for example, we started using this drivetrain was actually our first part on one of our CNC machines. So. Some of the stuff was off, uh, calibrating and whatnot, so it took a while to wear in. But once yeah. it wore in, it's been solid so far. Yeah, no, that's awesome. All right, let's jump right into your intake. You know, you guys have had a super consistent intake mechanism. How, what's gone into Like, how has it progressed throughout the season, or has it just been this good since day one? Yeah, so it, it's been, this is the second version. So on, we, this, we built another robot at the start of the season. It was 12 by 12, as I mentioned, and had two layers of surgical tubing. Uh, we noticed in previous seasons, for example, especially with Ultimate Goal, there's an advantage to be able to adjust the height. And so thinking maybe there'd be some advantage to that, we started with that where um, the intake could go up and down, it had two layers. We found that that was not as effective, right, with small, with small uh, Definitely. Uh, game items. So this one is spun really fast, short surgical tubing, stiff surgical tubing and uh, it allows us to intake any time we touch it. Yeah, awesome. And then, you know, going right into your deposit, can you give us an overview of how your deposit works, what it is now, and are there any changes you made to it throughout the season? Yeah, so right now it's a single, single set of slides. Um, yeah, and then the horizontal extension just comes from the slides being at about 25 degree angle, and then the output box has its own lip that allows it to add a little bit more distance. Um, it's actually a little bit interesting, interestingly strung given the size constraints. So we actually bevel uh, gear the pulley down here and uh, if you can see there's a bunch of pulleys internally that allow us to reroute the string. Both extension, the extension string has two independent pulleys away from the slides, the retraction string has another independent pulley and together we are able to keep the system very, very compact given the internal dimension space that we have. Yeah, awesome. And then did you guys, how did you guys decide on that 25 degree angle? Did you go through some testing? Did you decide to match it up with the hub or like, you know, what was the design uh, thinking behind that? Yeah, it's actually a little bit more angle than the hub increases. I believe the hub, the hub heights change by 15 degrees or so. Uh, by being 25 degrees, all we, we just had to make sure that in auto we could drop freight into the bottom level. And with this, with the little lip on the output box, we're able to hit the bottom level, which we only really need to do during autonomous, and then we can hit the other two pretty easily during teleop. Yeah, awesome. I think you've given like a really good overview of your robot with the hardware, but I think you know being a team at MTI it means you don't only have excellent hardware, but excellent software as well. So let's go on to Eddie, talk about some of your software, how it's improved throughout the season, and you know how it's so good now. Yeah, so this year uh, we really utilized uh, FSMs and just asynchronous um, FSMs to uh, in our both our auto and also our teleop to uh, optimize um, and then also regarding programming you know you can do a lot of complex stuff but we mainly went for driver optimizations so in our teleop we have a lot of things where I worked with the station also Alex trying to make sure trying to reduce as much time as possible especially since our robot is so small you know other robots have like really long arms so we had to get really close and so cutting as much time between cycles is really important 
Yeah, and you know, you guys talk about cutting cycles. So when you're doing that, like, do you guys watch videos or like time things? Like, how do you guys decide? Like, okay, this is like where we can save time, or this is where we need to cut time, things like that. Yeah, actually, at one point, my phone was about fifty percent just robot videos. <laughs> so at every single auto run, you know, we'd record the um, for like both auto and tele we'd record our robot, and also oftentimes a road on our dashboard, and just see either like corners we can cut or where we're slowing down. So at one point, we realized like you know intaking was kind of slow, so we try to see like hey maybe instead of having it to you know we kind of realize like the blocks kind of go to the same place every time so having it constantly check is kind of slow and having it inside just going into pre-planned pathways is really useful um you know also just play planning pre-planning like positions where like um for example you know going to the hub you know we try to cut some time with that mm -hmm. and then later when we moved over to our duck cycle you know um we realized that the time wasn't actually that necessary and so we try to slow it down actually uh so that we had 100 percent accuracy yeah no that's that's really impressive you know deciding to choose consistency over time when time isn't an issue and what do you guys think is like the biggest takeaway you have from this season and you know that you'll apply you guys said it's your senior year so maybe not apply to future FTC seasons but just engineering challenges in general um, I'm actually a junior so I'll give it to oh, him okay. yeah uh, I, see oh. um, I definitely think that uh, one of the biggest takeaways is just to one don't procrastinate and number two to give yourself as much time as possible to test and prototype your robot and to improve as much as possible so through our season we had a lot of i would say minor and a few major flaws here and there that we had to work through these like challenges that every single team has to go through right um for example one, one funny story so when we were at the tennessee state championships uh our side our side plates you know how our robot is super compact and dense right our side plates actually squeezed uh, our motors and pulleys and belts and wow. mechanical wheels super tight to the point where our mechanical wheels can't even like spin freely. You would see us in the Airbnb in Tennessee uh, using sandpaper oh, to wow. scrape away at the pulleys that belted our mechanical wheels. And so these problems that we've had to go through throughout the season has definitely helped us to improve our you know problem solving ability and teamwork and collaborativeness of Awesome. Yeah, I mean, I think teams have a lot to learn from you guys. It's really nice seeing when teams choose to take FTC not only as a competition, but as an engineering challenge and challenge themselves like one step more than Freight Frenzy or Ultimate Goal or any season already does challenge them. Reporting for First Updates Now, I'm a boss. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Discover MSOE, where hands-on learning today can lead to real-world applications tomorrow, including their Wii Energy STEM Center, built to support FIRST teams. Head on over to msoe.edu slash visit to see a virtual tour and schedule your campus visit today. If you're a college student or recent graduate looking for an incredible internship, take a look at Stryker. Stryker provides a housing stipend, great pay, and an opportunity to work with state-of-the-art medical technology equipment. Discover why so many FIRST alumni are coming to Stryker for their internship or career at careers.stryker.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.